get twelve. So this is that's the hedgehog sixteen. And this is super field. And we're going to be playing Metroid Prime. We'll trade it in mine. And I haven't played it yet, but I played Metroids two and three, so and that should yes. be familiar territory. And I'm just gonna pull up out my memory cards real quick because I have an open file around here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Hot I think. game. could do this on hard mode, just to make things interesting, and I've never done it on hard mode, but he's never played, so this could be bad. What say you? Uh, let's go normal, just so normal. I'm not totally lost. Okay, so starting it up. And to tell you the truth, I have no idea what's up with this glove in the back there. George Lucas or something. I thought it had something to do with the Chozo with the, you know, cow bird talons with the bird people. Maybe. Does this look like the Milky Way to anybody? I mean, we got this band right, right there. I guess it could be any spider that I see, but seriously. Do I spy the, um, like, state lines of California down on that planet? <laughs> I, I swear I did. Well... Looks like Obama's giving me a plan. Really hit it hard. <laughs> ah, space pirates. Your appearance never seems to be consistent throughout the games, I've noticed. Yeah, we've got the bum with almost every video game on there. Yeah, and here is Nintendo's leading lady with her ever-changing drum kit that's been trashed more times than I like to think about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, let's see. Hit by lightning, thrown by a giant doohickey, destroyed by space pirates. I mean, really, her auto insurance rate must be horrible. <laughs> auto insurance? You mean like you know warp I mean. insurance? What bugs me here is how, look how high she jumps, <laughs> right here. It's like she's in outer space. Yeah, but that's just yeah. She jumps right there, and she's like, boom! I just jumped twenty feet. Now I can only jump five. There's no justice in that. So do you want to start it out? Sure. All right. It'll tell you the um, in-game tutorial, but to be honest, I'm not out of it. I would uh, be sort of scared about playing this, but I did play Metroid Prime 2 with this uh, thing, oh yeah, so, I I'm, yeah. so I'm fairly familiar with this. Oh, yeah. Just to let you people know, this is going to be one of those runs where we do pretty much absolutely freaking no collection and no scanning just because well to be honest none of you guys want to see that it's just boring yeah we're gonna uh, try and keep it to story and you know although it will be a um, learning experience for me Wesley will uh, help me if I get stuck yeah luckily I know the two of my kit back in my hand yeah shooting them. That's the, that's the most awesome door ever. Like, do, are these, like, only military grade, or are these, like, domestic? Because that'd be awesome, like, having, uh, in order to open your front door, you need to have a gigantic arm cannon. I always figured it was like, if it just, like, if you punch your door, it might do the same thing. Let's see here. You know, you have to give Retro props for their graphics design, because oh, yeah. it's like, Holy cow, you really captured the Metroid feeling of this game. Yeah. Um, retro. Careful, you're about to walk into a fire. You know, a lot of games, uh, when they went from 2D to 3D, didn't do it so well. Like, a lot of people criticized Sonic, for example. Yeah. But, like, Mario, uh, Metroid, they all took an awesome 3D jump. Well, I'd have to say, it's the way Retro did it. It, it's different. Yeah, than it's, it's it's such an it's, it's like atmospheric game. It's like think of it like a Zelda game mixed with a James Bond game. It's like Link with a gun, which someday I'd actually like to see. 
yeah, it's it's you know when they say the genre of the Prime games, uh, you would think um, uh, first person shooter, but it's really not. It's, it's more of an adventure. Yeah, puzzle. that that that's what they call it, a third person adventure. It's it's like no, this is a first person adventure. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I actually know a cheat to play this game in third person mode, which I plan to do once I get it done, actually, but if anybody could leave a comment in this section to tell you know, me how to get more mercenary credits, I'd really, really care. Yeah. Um, you know, maps are critical to these action games, you know, any Zelda fan will tell you that, mm -hmm. but the, these are probably the most versatile uh, maps ever. Mm. You know, holograms. Yeah, I'd have to say Metro Prime 2 had the controls just a little bit better. Metroid Prime 3, I didn't know what the heck was going on with the map system. It was all messed up. Yeah, in my opinion, it was... Well, of course, bear in mind that I played Metroid Prime 3 first, and then Metroid Prime 2, and now Metroid Prime 1, yeah. which is backwards. I just found uh, the Metroid Prime 2 maps to be... to have too many things, like, you know, this, m this type thing means... Uh, this door and blah blah blah. You do know you can turn off the legend, right? Yeah, but it's just like you know, there was a yellow door and a pink door and a red door and a white door. True. See, that's something that uh, users you are using that you guys may have heard of the Grand Sewer. He had a problem in the IDT with Metroid Prime 2 with door systems. They never go to blue. Once they're a kind of door, they're always a kind of door. You always gotta wait for ammo, unless it's a mixture or a power bomb, which is more of a hack than really a door. Yeah, in Metroid Prime 3, uh, although you know, the uh, heat doors and no doors never change, it wasn't any problem, because you know, it, there wasn't an ammo system or anything. Yeah, the problem with Metroid Prime 3 is to me, basically, here's how I see it. They took what Metro, Super Metroid had with a stacking weapon thing, and they kind of nuked it in the sense that you couldn't toggle things on and off. And I, well, would, I would love to see a toggled, uh, toggleable system in a 3D Metroid game, just because, can you imagine mixing some of the weapons with each other? Yeah. Um, well, I will concede that the ammo system in Metroid Prime 2 was pretty stupid. Uh, Met Metroid Prime 3, its whole stacking weapons thing, you know, you you never lost anything. Yeah, but, but it kind of defeated the purpose. But of yeah. Because when you think about it, you never do lose, you never did lose anything in the Prime series. I mean, except for the first thing you lose all your stuff. But you know what I mean. Because yeah. you could select different weapons. That, and that's that was a, that's cool. another thing with Metroid series. Every new game, you'll lose everything you got. Which, in Metroid Prime 2, they did alright with, you know, it's stolen at the beginning of the game. Yeah. But Metroid Prime 3, I had a problem with it because there was a about, you didn't lose your weapons, and you got, I mean, I really got what I, I should have really been careful what I wished for in that game, because I was like, man, I wish I could use the hyper beam anywhere, and then it's like Metroid Prime 3, use the hyper beam anywhere, defeated the kind of excitement of it, actually. Yeah. That's not gonna, that's not gonna get rid of the curse. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make a suggestion to you real quick. Yeah. Go in the door to your left. Okay. To save your own. It's going to restore your health. You should buy that. Uh, and now, Samus, get the pink rubber band. <laughs> yeah. E either that or emptying the contents of... Never mind. Yeah. Let's leave that unsaid. Hey, it's a spacesuit. Yeah. You want to take on... No, I'll let you try this, boss. Yeah, if, if it's I... It's open. Oh. <laughs> yeah, your cutscene. Yeah. What I find funny is... Is, um... I've used my crappy action replay to go in with everything. And it's actually easier to kill the boss with the standard weapon than all the other shit you're using. It's like the game knows that, no, you're not getting past this with your fancy schmancy upgrade. Alright, um... Not that I know how to get through it yet, but I will. I'll give you a hint. Those force fields look like turrets. And I said that about three seconds late. Alright, pretty simple, pretty standard. Oh crap. 